and the Hubble Space Telescope. Dennis Houston with a uh, MET for the Disable Sun Point Timer. Go ahead, Dan. John, it's two days, one hour, colon, three zero, colon, two six. Okay, copied two, okay, one hour, 30, 26. That's a good read back. Um, he's going to line us uh, 200 feet. And Houston copies, thanks. From 200 feet, the Hubble Space Telescope, uh, first time it's been seen since uh, March 2002, the most recent servicing mission. Atlantis uh, essentially station keeping uh, while the final command sequence uh, being completed uh, before moving in for the final approach to grapple. This uh, view of the um, minus V3 side of the telescope, uh, the uh, first spacewalk of the five planned during the mission will essentially focus uh, on that uh, little area, the white strip um, that uh, is with the location of the wide field and planetary camera two. Uh, the first task of the first spacewalk will be to swap that camera with a new improved wide field camera three. The Hubble Space Telescope uh, delivered to space back in April of 1990. It celebrated its 19th birthday uh, just about uh, two weeks ago. The telescope uh, is 43 and a half feet long and has uh, a 10 foot uh, diameter of the uh, forward uh, light shield. Uh, area of the telescope, but also uh, the 14 foot uh, diameter is the equipment section and the aft shroud area of the telescope. Hubble has a uh, mass in space of uh, 24,500 pounds. Another two to three minutes of uh, commanding from the Hubble team uh, before they uh, give the go for the uh, final command sequences that the crew will perform. Great, we copy that. One, two, three, three, and three A. That is uh, what we expect as well. And I think we were thinking about three and a half minutes or so uh, to accomplish the uh, orbiter body yaw. Okay, thanks. Atlantis's pilot, uh, Greg Johnson, confirming the steps uh, leading up to the yaw maneuver. That's uh, simply a, a yaw maneuver that uh, Atlantis will perform rather than the telescope to align it uh, for the grapple. And no uh, impact whatsoever to the uh, rendezvous sequence other than uh, adding maybe three minutes or so for that additional yaw maneuver of Atlantis.
Lennis Houston, uh, happy to report that the HST commanding is complete. You are go for grapple when we get there. That's great news. Go for grapple, and we're about uh, 150 feet right now. We copy. Thanks. Pilot Greg Johnson providing uh, distance uh, range to the telescope, 150 feet. Uh, the Hubble team has completed its commanding. The crew has uh, go for grapple. As the uh, telescope gets closer to uh, Atlantis's payload bay, the, uh, the low gain antenna, which is located on the uh, bottom side of the telescope, as it gets closer to the payload bay, the Hubble team uh, expects to lose uh, lock with the t tracking and data relay satellite. They'll then get their uh, commanding um, uh, confirmations directly through the orbiter system with the payload interrogate interrogator link. 130 feet off the bottom of the telescope. Radio, we copy 130 feet. about uh, 15 minutes. Command Scott Altman uh, flying uh, Atlantis with uh, pilot uh, Greg Johnson providing uh, uh, laser uh, range distance measurements uh, as he continues to the slow approach to the telescope. The uh, closing rate is uh, basically a tenth of a foot per second or less. There are three uh, brackets on the bottom of the telescope that essentially uh, will uh, link up with the uh, berthing latches on the flight support system. There are three of those uh, latches that will lock the telescope in place on the flight support system for the duration of its uh, servicing tasks while aboard Atlantis. Three hundred fifty miles above the Indian Ocean, uh, Atlantis, uh, with the robotic arm uh, in the uh, in view, uh, closing in on the uh, Hubble Space Telescope directly underneath the telescope. Now that uh, the two vehicles are in the proper position for grapple, inside one hundred feet to uh, Hubble. Radio, we copy, and uh, we're pulling down the KU right now, and we see that. Thank you.
the bottom of uh, Hubble coming into view through the uh, remote manipulator systems end effector camera. This same view uh, uh, seen through one of the closed circuit televisions uh, up on the flight deck uh, of Atlantis. Commander Scott Altman uh, carefully positioning uh, Atlantis uh, within uh, 35 feet or so of the uh, telescope. And at that point, uh, Megan MacArthur will uh, maneuver the robotic arm over the grapple pin to uh, secure Hubble uh, to the shuttle's robotic arm. The equipment uh, section uh, coming into view with the aft shroud of the telescope. Uh, behind those doors are the rate sensor units, essentially the gyroscopes that uh, control uh, the telescope's uh, attitude. The uh, white area, the uh, wide field planetary camera 2 uh, location, that uh, camera will be swapped on the first spacewalk of the mission, replaced with a new improved wide field camera 3. And just above that coming into view the forward shell of the telescope, the various uh, equipment bays that uh, provide all of the electronics packages uh, for the telescope. And the grapple fixture uh, now in view. Megan MacArthur now uh, repositioning the uh, shuttle's robotic arm to align with the grapple fixture on the telescope. Uh, Space Shuttle Atlantis, uh, all of its thruster jets have been inhibited. It's in free drift. And uh, Megan MacArthur uh, moving in for the final uh, few feet uh, for grapple of Hubble for the first time uh, since its deploy 
uh, following STS-109 back in March 2002. Houston, Atlantis. Hubble has arrived on board Atlantis with the arm. Atlantis, Houston, we copy. Nice job, uh, Megan. Nice job on the Proxops flying as well. It's great to be back with the telescope. Thank you, Houston. Appreciate the support getting us here. Uh, Atlantis Houston, uh, we're still verifying that the HST to drift command took. Uh, we'll have words for you in just a moment. Okay, thanks, Dan. Everybody's uh, very excited up here, I can tell you. The Hubble Space Telescope safely in the arms of Space Shuttle Atlantis, high above uh, Western Australia. The uh, telescope was grappled at 12.14 p.m. Central Time, 1.14 uh, this afternoon Eastern Time, at an altitude of 350 statute miles.